with my sister. What's up? So yesterday I got a comment that said, American snacks are so weird. And I was like, yeah, they are. But like, I didn't even show you weird ones. I'm just gonna go to like a grocery store or a gas station or something, whatever we find first. And I'm just gonna show you some of the snacks that we have because if you live in another country, you might find them to be very sugarful and odd. They're desserts. But they're delicious. They also, I feel like I don't even know what would be considered weird. Everything I don't know. Everything is weird flavor. They have like 17 flavors of any kind of snack now. Where are we going? I don't know. We gotta figure that out. Okay, okay. We've made it to a 7-Eleven. I, I, right I don't frequent 7-Eleven. I don't go to 7-Elevens often. I actually don't even remember the last time I was at a 7-Eleven. I don't even really know if they have weird snacks here, but we'll take a look and see. If you look here, we've got um, a PB&J croissant. Is that weird? I feel like we should have gone to a grocery store, honestly. Ooh. Reese's dipped animal crackers. Oh my God, that looks so good. I don't know what air gummies are, but I kind of want to try those. What about these? Is this weird? I don't know know that there's weird stuff here, but do you have alcohol just like chilling in our kind of every store ever? And I know that when I moved to the East Coast a long time ago, I could not get alcohol and unless I was like in a liquor store or something. Some states you can only get hard alcohol in liquor stores. Is that still true? But here it's like you can go to the gas station, the grocery store. I don't think they have hard liquor here, but they do it. Certainly at grocery stores they have hard liquor. Not that I drink, but some people care about that kind of thing. I'm not seeing anything too exciting. This was a horrible idea. We changed locations. We're at the grocery store now and we made the right choice. We're just only in the CR aisle and we're like oh my god there's so much good stuff okay check it out I haven't eaten cereal strawberry milkshake frosted flakes fruit loops Willy Wonka is this interesting to anyone this cannot be interesting to anyone <laughs> look at this Kit Kat cereal this is cereal people eat this in the morning before school in America Oreo cereal this is what we eat s'more cereal this is what we eat for breakfast and I'm dead serious okay Mom wouldn't buy us cookie crisps. No, she wouldn't. But she would buy us... Oops, all berries. Oops, all berries. Let's look at the sugar contest. The cookies crisp has less sugar than the berries. I believe that. Mom Dude, Golden it. Grams was my favorite growing up. Really? Yes, I love Golden Grams. You don't like Golden Grams? I just didn't know it was your favorite. Oh, I love it. I feel like you're lying, but that's okay. No, I love it. But we never got it because it's so expensive. Look, it's $8. It's so good, but I like Golden Grams and um, Lucky Charms. There's dragons. We have Reese's Puffs. See, I don't know which one you guys would want me to try because some of these just seem like There's normal to me. I love the Reese's Puffs. I'm obsessed with the mini, the mini. I know the mini ones are so cute. Look, mini Cocoa Puffs, mini Reese's Puffs, mini Cinnamon Toast Crunch, mini Lucky Charms, mini Tricks. Oh my gosh, so cute. These loaded, did I get one of these? You got the one, you got the tricks. I think I got loaded tricks because that seemed like the weirdest one. I forgot and it was two minutes ago. I know, chocolate waffle bites. These are literally considered healthy and I'm not kidding. This is the healthy section. All right, so we got some good cereals here. Okay, we're in the chip aisle now and honestly, I don't even know how to pick like anything because I don't even know how to pick. This is a chip aisle, okay? I love this. This is cannot be interesting. This is what grocery stores look like. At least in America they do, but maybe not everywhere else. I don't know. So there's so many options of weird flavored chips. I don't even know what to pick. Like, I don't know what you guys would even want to see. Hmm. That was a total bust because we got a cart full of stuff and then the lines were like oddly really long. At they the grocery store, like, long like down the thing. whole aisle and it would have taken like a half hour to just buy it. So I was like, I'll just like try to Postmates or DoorDash or just get something delivered somehow. But I don't know if I'll be able to find the same thing. So I'm a little disappointed, but so anticlimactic. I'm like, look at all these snacks. We go to two different places and I come home with nothing. But I do have some packages to open up. So is that exciting? Absolutely not, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I got this little like, why well, I think that was, I didn't know what it was. I expected some like household item and it's a toy. It is a household item if you like to put rocks and under lights. This could like light up all my rocks in my rock table and like make them all glow. Ugh, this was my clear bag I was gonna take to the Lions game. Good thing I got here. I didn't make it out of my toiletry bag because it didn't arrive and it said it was going to. But look, it's kind of gay. For me. Do you need one? No. Isn't that cuties? What's the book? The book. You like the books? You gonna read What's to me? What's the book? A steamroller. Thank you, Ollie. It's time. My sister stuck the mud. My sister stuck the mud. Stuck in the mud? Yeah. I'm gonna make pizza. I need chefs. Oh, we're gonna make a pizza, huh? I'm gonna make a pizza. Oh, look at this. Mommy, this is so cute. I need this truck to help us. How cute are you with this? So the first thing I do is take a handful of flour and put it on your thing. Oh, good job. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, good job! Yeah! I'm making a mess! <laughs> yeah, you can make a mess. Let me dirty! Yeah! I'm dirty! Can I have some dough? I'm 
I'm getting it for you, bud. You want to do it to a ball? Let's we'll stick yeah. this off with the. You can roll this. Me? Like that. Use that. Yeah. My goodness. Macy, that's how we're supposed to make it. Some of this sprinkles? Amazing guy. Oh, chomp chomp. This is Flynn's pizza. Flynn, explain this to me. It looks incredible. So, this is the smiley. Yes. These are the eyeballs. These cheese are the cheeks. And this is the nose. That's amazing. And this is the hair. Oh, I love it. Pizza is the face. It's amazing. I feel like this vlog was such a bust. I had this grand idea to get all those snacks and try them for you, and then we didn't try any of them. So let me know if that's even something you'd want to see, because I'm like, should I even order this food? Or is this a horrible idea? Like, I literally just walked around a grocery store and was like, this is a grocery store. Like, I think I've lost the plot. But I am excited to try my little fancy table light thing. So the camera is currently set up on top of my rock table, so I'm going to open this little drawer here full of my rocks. I feel like what I'm going to do is pull out all the glow rocks, any rocks that glow, and put it on here and just see what happens. Okay, these are the rocks that glow that I've chosen to put on this thing. Whites and grays, and then it goes over to like the reds and carnelians, and then the orange ones, and then more just like random, all the different colors I found that can kind of glow. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it on. Here we go. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Wow. Is that kind of cool? I kind of feel like maybe it's not cool. <laughs> it doesn't really do what I thought it was going to do, honestly, but it's still kind of cool. I don't think I'm gonna put it in my rock table. What do you guys think? I feel like it just looks better if I just like don't have it backlit at all and it's just the rocks looking like that. Like that's prettier, you know what I mean? Well, once again, kind of a bust, guys. Let's get into some tortilla talk. There weren't actually many tortilla talk. There weren't actually many tortilla talk questions in yesterday's vlog because basically all of the comments were you guys telling me that my kids look like me. In my vlog yesterday, I showed some home video footage of me when I was a little girl the same age as my kids. So there's footage from me when I was like one and a half and two and then footage of me when I was five. And I showed it to prove like, look, I look nothing like my kids. My kids look nothing like me. And literally all the comments like, what are you talking about? You look just like your kids. And I am shh. Okay, to my car. Because I feel like my kids look exactly like Eric. Like for example, Alyssa here is one of many comments that talked about this and her comment says, what? How can you not see the kids in you? You look so much like the twins when you were little. When I first saw you, I immediately saw Flynn. That is mind boggling. So there were people who were like, hey, can we see baby pictures of Eric and see the difference? I don't have any on hand right now and I don't have any on this phone, but I'll try to gather up some baby pictures of Eric and maybe show you tomorrow and see if you guys can then see that my kids literally look exactly like Eric and they don't look like me. I don't know, maybe they do look like me and I'm just blind, but I just have lived my life as a mother the last five years since I've become a mom. Wow, I can't believe I've been a mom for five years. My only experience as a mom has been everyone telling me that my kids look nothing like me and that they all look exactly like Eric. Literally everyone who meets me and my children is like, whoa, they look nothing like you. I can't believe those are your kids. So it's blowing my mind that there were so many comments that said that I look like my kids and my kids look like me because, whoa. Anyway, moving on. I talked about Veggie Tales in my last video and a bunch of people talked about Veggie Tales too. That was the other bunch of comments. This one says, definitely watch Veggie Tales all the time as a kid. I had a Veggie Tales themed birthday party when I was like 12 where I premiered the new Larry Boy video. Clearly I was the pinnacle of cool. What was your favorite Veggie Tales video? So it wasn't so much that I liked Veggie Tales like the videos, I liked the silly songs with Larry. So I don't even think I could remember an episode or whatever you'd want to call it of Veggie Tales, which by the way, I don't even think this was the show was on TV. I just remember going to like the rental store and getting VHS tapes of Veggie Tales. But I don't remember like having a favorite or anything. I just know that I love the Silly Songs with Larry and that was my favorite part and I would just rewind and watch them over and over again. So my favorites of the Silly Songs with Larry Veggie Tales moments. Oh, where's my hairbrush? A classic. I think it's the very first Silly Songs with Larry. The cheeseburger song. Oh, it's incredible. Water Buffalo. 
classic. The Pirates Who Don't Do Anything, absolute masterpiece. There are so many, but those are just the ones that come to the forefront of my mind when I remember back to when I was like 11, 12 years old when I liked VeggieTales. Leone Das Reviews said, Rock question, can you explain how you keep track of what stage each tumbler is in and how long they have been in there? Seems very complicated and something you need to focus on. Love your new obsession, keep sharing it with us. Yes, it is something you need to keep track of and be very focused on because I learned that the hard way where I was tumbling rocks and I was like, oh, I'll remember that this tumbler's in stage two and this one's in stage three. That's an easy thing to remember. And then what, a week went by and it was time for me to switch them out and I was like, I have no idea what's what. So now I keep a post-it notes and a Sharpie like by my tumblers. And every time I switch out the rocks, I write down stage one or stage two or stage three or whatever and I put it down on the tumbler. And now I also have different tumblers with different fun things in them. Like for example, I have a tumbler right now that has my rocks from Moonstone Beach that I got over the weekend. And I have a tumbler that's full of my backyard front yard rocks. So on those tumblers, it says like stage three, backyard rocks. You know, like it'll say what the stage is and what the rocks are. Anyway, I always keep a post-it right in front of or on the actual tumbler saying which stage it's in because I will forget. And Monica said, Tortita question, favorite recent moment with Eric? Honestly, it was today. It was just so great. We were all just sitting and playing and he goes, okay, tonight we have something very special. We're all gonna make pizzas. And he had like snuck away to the grocery store today and bought stuff for us to make pizzas from scratch and just surprised the whole family with that. And I just thought that was the sweetest, most thoughtful gift of a family memory that he gave to us. I just thought that was so wonderful and just a sweet thing. And mind you, I don't need moms out there watching this to be like, oh my gosh, how did they just like make dinner together like calmly as a family? It was absolute chaos. As you saw, the twins and I ended up on the floor because it was the only place I could get them to focus for more than two seconds. Maisie started crying because she needed to go poop and Wesley started crying because he wanted to eat a chocolate bar that he saw in the pantry. Then Maisie started eating all the cheese and then she had a bowl of cheese and she accidentally dumped the entire bowl of cheese on herself. Like it was complete chaos, like screaming, just everyone everywhere, mess. The kitchen is a disaster. There's flour everywhere, there's cheese everywhere, there's sauce everywhere, and they wouldn't even eat the pizza. So like it was just a total chaos, disaster mess, but it was still so fun. Like we all had so much fun. Like the moments where the twins were actually paying attention, they were having a blast. Flynn loved it. And every time he finished a task, he'd be like, all right, chef, what's next? And I thought the pizza was really good. Even though it was covered in like kid boogers, I thought it was wonderful. And I just, I thought that was so sweet of him to think to do that and to go out of his way to like, he could have had time to himself to go get a coffee or go to the gym like he likes to do, or just go for a walk or just relax and look at his phone. But instead he went and like got ingredients for us to have like a family memory together. And I just thought that was the sweetest thing in the world. So anyway, that's all I'm gonna answer today. But I do have some really cute, adorable, amazing footage of the twins tonight because we always cuddle before bed and they were on another level of cuteness. So I'm gonna end the vlog on the cutest footage ever, I think of Maisie and Wesley. Hi, sweet girl. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Please leave Tortilla Talk questions because I think I read like basically the only Tortilla Talk questions that I got. So leave a bunch for me for tomorrow and I'll see you then. Okay, bye. Come in here, hugs. I like so much. I like a hug. Yeah, I Yeah, mama hugs, please. Good boy. Are you a puppy dog? No, what are you? A frog? Get Okay. Okay. I love you. Bye.